All right, so welcome back everyone. We have a fun project today. Remember that timber frame garden box that Brian and I made like four years ago? Yeah, oh, so many days ago. We're actually gonna put that in today. And so we're gonna do a little excavating here and we're gonna put this in here for Mrs. W, her flower and herb garden. And I think it'll be pretty fun. So one thing we're gonna attempt to do today is to teach Jack how to run the backhoe and cut grade. Cutting grade is one of the most difficult things you can do with a, with a digger. And we'll, we'll see how he does. Are you up for the task? I think so. All right. So let's get started. We're going to relocate a couple plants here and then we'll jump into it. Okay, so what did the dimensions come out for this? It's 54 wide and 186 long, but that's um, inside or mi middle to middle. Center, okay. Middle to middle. So what we're going to do, we'll use the grade laser we've got set over there. And then I'm going to cut this first section here, Jack. I want you to watch what I do. And, and then uh, just watch how I try to control the bucket and try to keep it flat because if you dig too deep, then Brian's got to fill it in. If you don't dig deep enough, then he's got to do more work. So how good you are and how much time you spend doing it properly on the backhoe is going to equate to what type of a day he has. So you work as a team, as a partnership, and that's why it's really good when you're working with another guy is you t alternate. You might run the backhoe until noon and then you have lunch and then he runs it. That way he can get even with you if you made him work too hard. So the bucket, you got three movements. Imagine my arm right here. You've got your your boom, which goes up and down. Mm -hmm. This the second one here is called the stick. And then you've got your curl. All three of those, each time you change one of those angles, it changes one of the other ones. So you're always compensating. So the, what, what it should look like is you come in, you, you'll boom out and open your teeth and you put your teeth in. Now you don't just drag your teeth. Teeth need to cut. They need to cut this way. So you come in, start changing your angle, cut, and go flat and then when you're finishing your 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 stroke then you're curling up and you're holding your dirt then you're coming over and you're placing it see how I, I move myself okay so once we do that first pull there we can see here that we're we're consistent that's close enough. We're gonna, the, the guy running grade has two jobs. You're gonna have run the grade rod and then you're gonna set this down. You're gonna have your shovel or your rake in hand and you're gonna be just grading this out. You can usually on a small dig like this, just use your feet. So fill in the high spot, the lows with the highs, go along here, just pack it in. And you notice that I did one dig on one side of the line and one dig on the other side of the line, right? Mm -hmm. It's called an over dig. That way it gives us plenty of room to work with. This is, means it's okay. Mm -hmm. This means take it down. This means too deep. Okay. Well, it's just a tiny bit of, you just have to brush it a little bit. Okay. So Brian's gonna be running grade. You got your cat-like reflexes. I'm ready to run. Because right? <laughs> you got a new operator, they could be dangerous. So Jack's gonna this will be his first attempt to start pulling grade. Brian, a pulling grade. Brian will be running grade rod for him, and we'll see how he does. In this partnership, uh, equipment operator and grade rod. The equipment operator is nothing more than a monkey that's told what to do. The guy with the real power and knows what's going on is the guy with the grade rod, and it's a good, it's a, it's a, it's really a, a beautiful partnership when you get somebody that you work with a long time. How well you can work together, and you never even speak.
Can I make a recommendation? What? Make your life a little easier? What? All right, I'm gonna go get you a scoop of gravel. Oh, nice. And we're gonna, uh, once I get this, I'm gonna scoop it up and then I'll bring it over here. I'll let you dump it in, Jack. But you work with Brian. He'll, he'll come in here and he'll tell you to dump. And, and we'll go along and just dump uh, about two or three inches, just enough to rake out. You'll level out the high spots. It's gonna do a couple things. It's also gonna drain water away from the bottom of the wood, which will make it last a little bit longer. Uh, could you dump it? You'll dump it, I'll go scoop it. So we have dug out all of the footing, area, the footing, uh -huh. and then we're going to dump some gravel in. Right, so it's hard to, sometimes when you're excavating, it's hard to uh, get it really flat with the dirt and the dirt's hard and hard, difficult to rake. So what you do is you just dump in a little gravel. So we'll dump in a lift, it's called a lift when you add gravel. Um, two inches, somewhere between two and four inches, that's gonna be a lot easier for us to grade. We'll be able to grade it down with the rakes real easy. Also, it's gonna drain a little bit of the water away from the wood. It's gonna help, you know, might make it last a few years longer, but it, primarily it just makes the job a whole lot easier. So I've got a bucket of gravel over there for you. So you work with Brian and you guys uh, dump in. Don't dump too much, because then you gotta shove it all out. Okay. So, it's better to go slower and careful than to dump a half a bucket in here than have to move it all by hand. Okay. Okay, good, just follow along and I'll just rake right to what you... Low, okay, good. In here, good. Good. All right, Jack, clear, clear everything off uh, the uh, top of the box and then inside. Commander Lieutenant Commander. Drop that side down here. I'll, I'll put this one. Oh, no, <laughs> yours okay. drops down. All right. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set the, the top side off right here. Okay, put it right over here, and then we'll work our way out. Okay. You first, Brian. Okay, don't drop it. That was almost a drop, but not quite. Put the first course on. Oh, we had a nice day yesterday. It was, uh, boy, it was the first time, it, as Brian said, it felt like someone flipped a switch and towards fall, fall is coming. I was looking out the window this morning and a great big yellow maple, maple leaf uh, floated down off of the tree. I'm like, yeah, it's coming, time to get ready. So really proud of Jack, he did a good job. If you like these videos, remember, you can support us by clicking the thumbs up and leave your comments, let us know, and uh, we always appreciate that. It keeps us motivated. And uh, this is all we have time for today, but we'll pick up on part two and we'll finish the box and uh, get everything pinned in, and uh, I think it's going to turn out really nice. Mrs. W is excited. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support, and we'll see you guys on the next video.